The march on interest rates anticipated early. We understand uh, the pressures that people are under. They went to the election saying they had a plan. Uh, let's hear what the plan is. The Reserve Bank's decision following a waiting game in question time. The fact that we knew it was coming doesn't make it any easier for people. This is tough. This will tighten the screws on family budgets. At 2.35 per cent, Australia's official cash rate is still lower than in New Zealand, the United States and Canada, but higher than Britain and Europe. China and Russia are outliers, with much higher cash rates despite steady cuts. But the speed with which the Reserve Bank has changed tack is extraordinary. From the Governor's bold declaration last year that interest rates wouldn't rise until 2024... That's embarrassing. I wish you'd forecast this better. ..to a flurry of supersized rate hikes. Dr Lowe has got to go. He's smashing renters, he's smashing mortgage holders. Be much more careful from here on in. There is a risk that we're raising rates too hard, too fast. The government flagging legislation this fortnight to bring down the cost of childcare and medicine, with more to come. We are engaged Order. in cost of living relief, and that is what you will see in our budget. If the government doesn't do its job, the Reserve Bank has to do more. If uh, the government tries to use the, uh, the budget next month, uh, to ease family finances, the Reserve Bank will just raise interest rates harder. Households and businesses aren't the only ones stung by higher interest rates. They also increase repayments on the Commonwealth's trillion dollar debt, which limits the government's ability to fund cost of living relief. Perhaps explaining why Anthony Albanese today warned Labor MPs to expect difficult decisions in the October budget. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.